Time now for a message of hope with Mark S. Allen. Yeah, Mr. Walgrey, you don't have to look far to find bad news these days, so I'm trying to find you some good news. Take a look. With a campus of 2,300 students in Modesto's Enox High School, nothing, not even the coronavirus, is stopping the yearbook staff from publishing the book that all the students look forward to. Of course, the virus meant changing course, replacing pages of events that never took place or were not completed, like the prom or spring sports. You know, we're all doing what we can to finish our publications, live out the legacy of, of our programs, and um, celebrate the stories of our school. Neighbors in Albuquerque, New Mexico, didn't want Larry Johnson's 100th birthday party to pass without some kind of celebration. So they put together a parade for the decorated senior Olympian who watched from the comfort of his lawn chair. Plus, a seventh grader in Louisiana watched healthcare workers on the front lines and thought, how can I help? So Henry Robin took out his 3D printer he got for his birthday and made a mask for first responders. He's made about 45 so far and plans to donate them across the country. God bless and a member of the Atlanta Opera decided to take his show on the road in order to lift people's spirits. That I love. That's Timothy Miller performing God Bless America at a safe distance for the neighbors in his community. I love that. Good news. And remember, all of that great news and even in times of quarantine, it's still Taco Tuesday.